All right, let's initialize a new um, patch. I'm gonna zoom out. And the mode that we're gonna go into here is called particle mode. Particle mode is granular synthesis, okay? So if I press particle down here, um, it gives me a blank space of terrifying freedom. Um, particle mode is both just a general sampler as well as a, a granular sampler. Um, what you need to do to get this working is a sample, all right? You can, if you want to, um, take something that's internal or you can use either a USB stick or an SD card to get something. I've got an SD card in there that now. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna go over to actions and press add. And if I go up to the top where it says samples, this is everything that's internal to the flash memory of the device. If I go and press samples and go to SD card, there's some stuff in there. Um, let's have a look. Uh, this is some Foley sounds. I'm just gonna press play so you can hear it. Can you hear it? Why can't you hear it? There we go. All right, that'll do. It's fine, there's other stuff in there. Yes, copy it to internal memory. Takes a little bit. Hopefully not. Good question. Um, I think you can load quite long samples in there, actually, like a few, good few minutes. Um, there's a de decent amount of um, internal uh, memory in here. Um, so this one's nearly two minutes, this, this particular file. Okay, cool. So um, the first thing that you wanna do, just like any granular um, or sampler, is actually choose where your start and end points are. I'm gonna go over to edit and then choose sample start. I know that there's some interesting stuff kind of over here-ish. And then sample end. Okay, cool. And then we're gonna go over to particle mode and it says, do you wanna switch from normal sampling to granular? Yes, I do. All right, cool. Um, we're, we're not gonna do any sequencing, I'm just gonna latch it. Um, and I'm gonna press this one here. So granular mode um, has a few different things that are cool about it. You can choose how many grains are going at once. At the moment, the grain polyphony is only at four, but if I make it eight, you have eight grains going at once. You have a position knob. Okay, and just like the wavetable mode, you actually have a travel knob as well. So it'll automatically scrub through it okay that's cool these parameters up here the length is the size of the grain the gate uh, sorry the length is basically it's kind of the size of the grain but it's a it's a function it becomes a function of speed okay the gate length is how how long the grain is in total so if I bring these back you get a much more granular sound sure if that's the best part of the sound actually let's put it up the octave a couple of octaves why not all right you can have position jitter so instead of the playhead reading at, a, at the exact point where as it travels over the sample it's kind of jittering around the start and end of course this travel is is useful if you just want it to play back and forth but that's really not what's re super interesting in granular you might then want to immediately map an lfo or something like that so at the moment we're just hearing it at one position okay so here's your position so i'm going to press mod modulations let's go to the matrix actually and we're going to choose an LFO, LFO1, LFO1, let's make it something complex, like a sample and hold. Oops, very good. And we'll change its warp so that it has a bit of interesting stuff going on, make it slow. All right, and add some movement.
Why no movement? What happened? Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's quite slow. I'm gonna change the speed. So that so we can see that movement there now. That kind of granular sound then makes me think, all right, I might like to actually filter this. So if I go to my filters and change my filter type, I'll make it a high pass. some really nifty quite quite dry sounds that kind of thing I would then put into one of the effects that we looked at last week if you remember the chorus which gave it some width and also we did we did something that was kind of carpless strong last week do you remember what that was what the effect I was using yeah the delay time you yeah. know um, one thing that I'll show you with this what something that we haven't done um, is, as you remember, there are two filters, but there's also the Digiformer. So the Digiformer can be an EQ, it can be a filter, but it can also be some inter other interesting things. Um, and what I like with the Digiformer is actually the comb filter. All right, so let's have a look at this comb filter. might have less strains. You can actually change the Digiformer down here. This bit here, so I'm changing the color. And that's changing the feedback of the comb filter, okay? Okay, so let's do one more interesting thing. Let's use another mod source. Create a quick complex modulator. And I'm gonna use this to very slowly move the comb filter around. The complex. Where is it? There we go. Destination. If we go down to the Digiformer. DF. Color. I uh, know, not color, because that's telling how much, my bad. Amount, I believe. See how now it's got a green uh, yellow mod on there? It means that I'm basically changing, it won't show you a visual feedback of it, but I'm changing the, the frequency position of this cone filter. You can go really hard or really subtle. Cool. Awesome. Um, one really awesome mode in this, which I won't have time to show you now because we're finishing up, is what I've done for this granular is I've, um, I've imported a sample. But if I go um, over here to um, samples, you can see that it's in normal granular mode here. If you go to live granular mode, instead of granulating a sample, 
It's granulating whatever you're sending it into the two inputs over here. All right. Um, so I could send, I, I have this set up, but I don't think I've got time to, um, to stuff around with it. Um, basically, it's sending and uh, it's continuously sending an input and then using that to granularize things. All right. So, which can be fascinating for creating kind of hum harmonies, granular harmonies over something that, that is playing live. Right. It might be. Um, you might be modulating um, something that uh, a performance partner of yours is doing and then just kind of bringing in granularized versions of, of what they're doing. Um, the last mode is the resonator, which is an, a nice kind of um, physical modeling resonator based on kind of string um, synthesis. I will do a separate video um, on that one so that you guys um, have that. So deep dive, particularly the, um, the FM um, thing, I think it was worthwhile going a little bit deep on it because it does actually give you a, a, a lot of ideas about how you can use um, FM. Without a filter, it gives you so much timbral variation. Um, but yeah, so um, the word on the street is that this will be um, installed in 1030C for everyone to use from tomorrow. So um, get amongst it. All right, see you next week. <coughs>